generally speaking, most heirs property owners um, own the property because their ancestor died without making a will or an estate plan. And approximately half of adult Americans do not make a will or estate plan. In some communities, the incidence of not making a will is even greater. So for example, in, with African Americans, one study has shown that only 23% of African American adults make a will or an estate plan, and the numbers are similar for the Latino community. So in those communities, there's going to be a high incidence of heirs property ownership to the extent that the ancestor owned property. But you can also see that it's a more widespread problem that doesn't just impact minority neighborhoods or minority families. So that's part of the reason. And if you don't make a will or an estate plan and you die owning property, the state has what we call default rules um, that will assign this form of ownership to you. Right. And so we, we talk about that as receiving property through intestacy or the process of intestate succession. Um, unfortunately, the form of ownership that the state will give you is well recognized to be the worst form of common real property ownership in the country. The tenancy in common under the default rules, which heirs property is a subset of that. It's a terrible form of common real property ownership because it is particularly unstable, partially because of this law of partition that allows any one of the common owners, no matter how small their fractional interest, and no matter how recently they acquired it, could be a real estate speculator acquired it from a family member yesterday, and then they can go into state court and file this partition action uh, today. So it's inherently unstable largely but not exclusively because of partition law. And the second problem with the ownership is under the default rules that the state gives you, rights and responsibilities to the property are not allocated uh, very well at all. So there's no real rules governing who pays the property taxes or consequences that if one of the common owners doesn't pay their share of the property taxes, which inevitably leads to a lot of tension within families or tenants in common about paying the property taxes, for example. Um, so those are, are two of the uh, real problems with the ownership. A third problem that has come to light recently is that in most states that um, if you own heirs' property effectively, you cannot claim the homestead exemption if you are an owner and occupier of the property, which is your principal residence. And your inability to claim the homestead exemption over time, especially in areas experiencing a rapid appreciation of real estate values, including in gentrifying areas in urban or rural areas, it makes the property ownership over time increasingly unsustainable.